leadership, community service, aerospace and STEM, emergency services, wingmanship. This is the Captain Bud Jackson Composite Squadron. Hello, we are from the Captain Bud Jackson Squadron, and we are here to talk about hypersonic aerospace. My name is Cadet Kakar. And I'm Cadet Ranjan. So let's get started. What is hypersonic aerospace? Hypersonic flight is flying in the atmosphere below 90 kilometers, but above the speed of Mach 5. Mach speeds are faster than the speed of sound, and this can vary depending on the conditions of the environment, wind or temperature, and many other factors. An example is Mach 6. This is six times faster than the speed of sound. It is moving at two kilometers per second, or 7,200 kilometers per hour. And, hypers and to, for a flight to be considered hypersonic, it has to be above a Mach 5 speed. And for it to be considered supersonic, it needs to be between Mach 1 to Mach 5. When something travels at hypersonic speeds, the air around it generally changes as the molecules break up and or they pick up an electrical charge. History of hypersonic flight. So the first object to reach hypersonic flight was the two-stage bumper rocket, as you can see on the right in the picture. In the February of 1949 in White Sands at approximately Mach 6.7. However, upon re-entry, the craft burned up and any remains were charred. In April of 1961, Yuri Gagarin, a Russian major, became the first human to travel at hypersonic speeds during the first ever piloted orbital flight. And in November of 1961, the Air Force Major Robert White flew a research plane at hypersonic speed, but that too was damaged upon re-entry due to the heat. So hypersonic flight of the present. X-43 of NASA's HyperX program currently is the fastest hypersonic aircraft. It went to space unmanned, however, and the flight reached speeds of approximately Mach 9.6. Eventually, the rocket was discarded, letting it fly only using engine, and this, and this technique is known as a scramjet. Many advances are being made in hypersonic aerospace. For example, a Houston-based startup known as Venus Aerospace is attempting to create a craft that will not go into space, but rather travel around the edge of the Earth's atmosphere and space to get you anywhere on Earth within less than an hour. The fastest hypersonic flight was Ava Avangard, which reached speeds of Mach 27. So how does it work? So usually hypersonic crafts have a scramjet, which is a supersonic combustion ramjet, and it collects oxygen, mixes it with hydrogen fuel, creating the combustion required for hypersonic travel. However, a ramjet uses liquidized oxygen, adding lots of weight. And you can see the two in this picture on the right. New innovations are being made, however, like the dual mode ramjet. It's a typical ramjet until the optimal speed is reached for it to work as a scramjet, and scramjets only work once a certain speed is reached. So thank you for watching our presentation on hypersonic aerospace. And if you want more sources, these are all the sources we use to get this information. And as you can see, the actual websites are bolded and you can use any